For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Teams. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a breakdown of another defense that I'm currently using out of the big nickel over G. This is going to be a pretty easy defense to set up, and it's also very effective. But before I get into the video, as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. And if you want to see a full breakdown of the big nickel over G, I think that that's uh, something that I could like to I'd like to do at some point. Put all the plays that I've put out from the big nickel over G into one video. So, like I said, make sure to be a subscriber for that, because I do plan on doing that pretty soon. Other than that, this is in the Kansas City Chiefs defensive ebook that I put out and the Las Vegas Raiders defensive ebook that I put out, as well as my custom playbook. So if you guys want more plays that go along with this, because my two favorite defenses are both in the Raiders. I have this defense, and I also have the 3-3 three, three odd, which are probably the only two that I use for the most part, as well as the 4-3 even. I'm pretty sure they're all in the Raiders defensive playbook, which is, like I said, in my opinion, the best. So if you guys need more defensive plays, you can check them out. Links in the description or the top pin comment. You can download my ebooks instantly. All you gotta do is click the links. Other than that, let's get right in the video. Now, as far as this particular setup goes, I typically want to make sure that my coaching adjustments, I set my zone coverage to match. Uh, and I also like to set my auto alignment to base because I typically want all these defensive plays to look the same. I have several plays, but I'm only really going to be showing you guys one, uh, which is a new uh, play of the formation that I haven't mentioned quite a bit in some of my recent gameplays, and that's the cover six invert. Now, there's a lot of matching style defenses in this formation I like to use, and I went over in previous videos like the cover four quarters, the cover six. Uh, even plays like the SS Blitz 2 and a lot of the cover 3s that I use, like the cover 3 stream, they're all matching style defenses, which is why I like to leave match on. But the, the play that I'm going to go over in today's video is going to be the cover 6 invert. Now, in the past, cover 6 invert and really invert plays in general just aren't very good because they leave a lot of holes deep. But this particular play is very good. It's programmed very well to match a lot of commonly used concepts. And I'm going to show you guys some small adjustments you can make to basically cure every single hole that you're going to see in this entire defense, if there's any at all. So we're gonna go. We're gonna pick that play. Before I do, I want to make sure that I make my substitutions correctly. I want to put as many safeties in at these linebacker spots as possible. Um, at the moment, Madden is not really too concerned with things like, um, you know, uh, there used to be like a penalty if you had safeties at linebackers where they get pancaked a lot. That's not really a concern in Madden right now. So I would say pack the box with safeties. This is a safety spot here, although typically I would say put a cornerback here so you can have one more safety because there really isn't a ton of safeties on anybody's roster to the point where you're going to have enough to fill out. But you can have up to seven, I'm sorry, five safeties on the field, or if you replace this safety with a cornerback, you can have four on the field, which is a little bit more realistic for most people's teams to have at least four good safeties. It's not really realistic for people to have five good safeties, but that's typically how I run this. So we're going to go back. We're going to select that play, the cover six invert. On offense, it really doesn't matter what offense I'm going against because I'm not really too concerned with the results. But we'll go ahead and we'll try to match, which is something random as far as a gun bunch or something. Now, when it comes to this play here, you don't really have to make any adjustments. This is a pretty good play as is. I find that there are a few adjustments you can make to, to take away some of the holes. Now, it's a really well-designed matching principle play, but if your opponent figures out that a post route, uh, typically in tight, which I'll, I'll show you guys in a minute, um, post routes can beat this play pretty easily. So that's something where if people figure that out, you're going to want to make the two adjustments I'm going to show you. Uh, the one adjustment to basically solve the post route issue would be to put this guy here in a middle third. Now post routes won't work. There's still ways to beat this play, but I'm not going to advertise them because they're not very well known, uh, making it to the point where if you run this defense like this, post routes are going to get locked, uh, which was really one of the bigger issues because of the matching principles. And you're pretty much going to have a pretty much uh, pretty shut down defense for the most part. The only other real hole is over here underneath the curl flat in the deep zone because that spot there um, doesn't really, the curl flat doesn't really prioritize any short routes. It just plays deep routes for the most part. So in this scenario, I would say putting either this guy into a hard flat or if you like to have the extra help over the middle you can put this guy here in a hard flat and try to take that away but a lot of times i'll use one of those two guys in a hard flat to try to cover that up but if it's like a third long or something like that you're not necessarily going to want to worry about that because obviously it's not going to be as big of an issue uh your opponent's gonna be trying to push the ball down the field anyway so I'll just use that uh, from time to time but this vert hook here you can really use this guy like a rover like a, a wild card on the play where if you want to put him in a hard flat you can do that if you want to leave him in a vert hook you can do that if you want to man him up say you have you know and i've showed this trick in like rpo plays and stuff like that if there's a guy in the slot 
here. You can man him up. Uh, I'll just man up the outside receiver at this point. But like I said, this is your this is your uh, jack of all trades player because this play is really designed to take away outside throws and really force the ball over the middle anyway with the way that the matching principles work. So I can really cover that by myself. But at the same time, if I am going to use anybody on this play, it would also be this guy. I like leaving that three rack hook doing what he's doing because he's a really um it's really three rack hooks do a much better job of matching when it comes to plays like this than the vert hooks do but the vert hooks can, can match as well so like i said my i you can run this play just like this i'll go ahead and i'll back out though and i'll show you a couple of plays from offense on how that'll look so i just want to show you guys a common concept that people use when it comes to a corner strike concept where you just have a streak and a uh a, you know pulling back the zone and you have somebody you know basically converging on that you can see how that works really well on those corner routes and if I want to do that to the other side, it's going to be very similar to the fact that I have, um, you know, the, the corner strike is going to work the exact same way where this guy actually jumps it and cuts it off. So corner routes are going to be something that don't work very well against this style of defense when you run it as is. But I'm going to back out and show you guys how post routes do against it. I'm going to switch to a different offense. Is something that I put out a little while back from the normal Y off close because I did notice that plays like the double slant work very well against this defense. Let's go and let's pick that. So there are still ways to glitch out this style of defense, especially when it comes to over the middle. And a lot of times that's really just having five wide at the line of scrimmage, running routes over 10 yards. But on this particular offense, it works just by motioning out the running back. And you'll see how this B receiver just gets completely forgotten as I probably should have, uh, you know, threw a bullet pass there. As you can see the defender on the other side of the field almost caught up but you don't want to have those type of issues and like i said a lot of matching style defenses can give those type of issues that's why it's important to override by hitting this um you know wider triangle twice than the lb defender and putting him in the middle third which is something that i was mentioning earlier so if you do that now you can see it's a cover three it's going to change the matching principles a little bit and you'll see how this particular setup won't work anymore so doing this is going to safeguard you against any glitchy setups because like i said matching defenses are good but they're a little bit unpredictable and now you can see with the exact same setup we're not having that look and you can see we're thrown right to the safety who probably could have had an interception there if he would have tried but like i said that to me is probably the most important uh, part of the setup as you can have a lot of success against this play if you don't make that adjustment but making that single adjustment can take away any issue when it comes to uh this particular play uh glitching out like a lot of matching defenses do so i'm gonna end the video there like i said it's a very simple very easy concept very easy video if you guys want to see me break down the entire uh big nickel over g defense because there's a lot of plays that i've added since the last time that i put that out i'm going on vacation in about a week or so uh, so that'd be the perfect time for me to put out a full breakdown so if you guys want to see that make sure to be a subscriber hit like button let me know in the comment section other than that if you want to see gameplay of this particular defense which i used in uh, some recent games that i put out i'll have a link of that popping up on screen and until next time thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below